Hey family, one love to my brothers and sisters in the spirit. Hope all is well with many of you. I decided to do a quick little video. <clears throat> Let it many of you know your sister is doing just fine. I um want to let many of you know that I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I've already uploaded the video guidance to for those. Um, now every time I get to talk, I'm saying something. Um, I've already uploaded um, a video for the select few um, that have chosen uh, for me to do a uh, quick reading for you, all right? For such, for such a time as this, just getting the on time word as far as um, guidance, all right? Um, I, I was open for 13, all right? And only nine of you, um, only nine of you, all right, uh, asked me to do this for you. And so I left the window open for two days. So with that being said, um, and many of you, many of you um, who are probably still interested, we're gonna wait next time, okay? I do this uh, due to being, you know, led by the spirit, and um, this is something that I really want to do as far as giving back. All right, um, like they say, obedience is better than sacrifice, and because uh, I do readings on myself, you know. Um, Cause it keeps me in check, you know, uh, as far as being led by the spirit as well. And I was told to do some form of charity. And um, charity <clears throat> is always good. It's a form of giving back. And it keeps us from thinking about, you know, self, me, me, I, I, I. You think about others, cause it's all about us, we. Um, we're all are in this together. Uh, I apologize if I'm looking around, I'm always checking out, checking out my surroundings, okay? That's a good thing. But anyway, um, but I just want to let many of you know I haven't forgotten about you. The video is uploading real slow. I think it's over an hour. So just know when you watch, when you watch it, for those who want to watch it and you are not one of the nine, okay, that I have chosen, um, you're welcome to still watch, you know, but if not, that's okay. Um, it's really for those select few that, um, let me know that they wanted this, you know, quick reading, all right? Some of you got, had like a three-card reading. Some of you had like a four-card reading. Uh, it's pretty much what the Spirit wants, wants you to know for such a time as this. Um, but when you watch it, know down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link, okay? I'm going to have every, everyone's name, all right, who have participated, as well as the timestamp. So you want to see the timestamp, okay? And also in the video, I'm letting you know ahead of time. Um, yes, please watch the introductory part. Watch that um, because I speak on some things that I feel like many of you need to know. Um, but once the introductory part is over with, then you can skip and just go to your reading, okay? Just go down to the comment section and click on the timestamp where your name is, all right? Um, I appreciate me, many of you, and I thank you for trusting me to do this for you. Um, so that's all I want to say, okay? But it's on its way. Many of you probably get the video tonight or early tomorrow. Um, I don't know why the video is uploading kind of slow. Maybe it's because it's over an hour. But anyway, it's all good. Um, glory be to the most high God, you know. Um, he's giving everybody gifts and talents. And I say shine, 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 and never dim your light for no one. You hear me? So anyway, um, I also want to remind many of you, family, um, please walk in power, love, and sound mind for such a time as this. Um, everybody take on this so-called COVID-19 is different. And let's please respect everybody different opinion. Cause we live in the time right now, you can't say anything. You know, everybody's so sensitive. Oh no, 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 no. And a lot of people they would really just cut you off, meaning women I mean, they love you and the next they don't, just because they don't agree with you. And that's sad. It, it's like it's like, okay, there's a thin line between love and hate. It's like really, you know, what happened to unconditional love? It's okay to agree to disagree. 
I don't care if anybody disagrees with me because I'm always walking my truth. You, you can't take that from me, you know. Um, you can disagree due to the fact that you don't understand me and, you know, you don't get it, you know. Um, and you don't see why I think the way I think due to my experiences. But that's okay. It's my experiences. But I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to curse you out. And nobody has done this to me, but I'm just trying to put it out there. People are so sensitive. You can't say anything, you know, as far as speaking your opinion. And, you know, it's like you notice, you know, when it comes to this so-called, you know, love for you, it's it's really thin line, I'm telling you. You know, one minute they love you, and the next minute they don't due to a disagreement. And, and that's not true love. You know, unconditional love, because we have family members that, you know, one minute we agree and the next minute we don't. But we, but we love them from where they are. We love them from where they are, and we disagree all the time with family. And you can't just say, well, that's just blood. No, but, but family teach, really teach you how to love other people. It's like boot camp with family, you know. You love family for whose they are and where they are in life, and we all are in different places when it comes to family. But we respectfully love each other from where they are. I have family members that I love from a distance. That's real talk. How come we can't love each other like that? I don't get it. But anyway... Please, let's agree to disagree and respectfully let your brother and sister have an opinion. I'm telling you, even if it's something that you don't agree with, it's okay. It's theirs, you know, and their opinion, their thought process, that's going to shape their reality. You know, um, I can't expect everybody to be bubbly and to, to be, to walk in love and light. I can't expect everybody to be like that. Everybody is at their own place. You know, um, everybody's on their own journey. And I respect that. I really do. I really do. But it's sad, you know, um, people are so sensitive now. And I'm sensitive, you know, I'm, I'm an empath. I'm sensitive to people, energy, you name it. But I see things from what it is. I see the big picture. A lot of people from where they are, they got to get to that place for themselves. You know, that's why a lot of people, you know, during this time, you know, many people, you know, are going to have it hard. You know, many people you know, um, are going to get sick, you know, um, and many people are going to mysteriously, you know, leave this, um, life, you know, they're going to transition. Everybody, you know, um, I'm sorry, everybody, experiences down here are going to be different, okay? Some people are going to have it real, real hard. And then for others, you're going to notice it's like smooth sailing. It is what it is, family. You know, if people choose to be negative, well, they're going to experience that. It's going to be a boomerang mirror effect of your negativeness. But if you choose to be positive and see this thing in a positive light instead of a negative, you know, that's going to affect your reality. You know, with this COVID-19, you know, and this is me, I don't see it as negative. You know, I, I do see it as a wake-up call. And I did see it as a test as well because I see things for what it is. But... I basically see this pretty much as, you know, this is the most high God's doing for such a time as this for a reason. And I see this also representing representing change. And also in my reading, the word be still popped up. It's a reason for that, all right? It's, it's a reason for that. Be still, okay? And fear not. It's a reason for that. So just by me saying that, I don't see this as, as something that's negative. I see this as though just being obedient. Like I said, obedience is better than sacrifice. I see it as though being obedient, you know? Um, you know, when the media say, um, you know, everybody, everybody, everything just go back to normal and everybody just get out here and be amongst each other, you know, I think not. I'm going to be led by the Spirit. I'm going to be still, okay? That's just me. I'm going to be still and be led by the Spirit. Like I said, when the media say, go to the left, you go to the right. When the media say, come out, you stay in. You get it? But it's up to an individual thing. We can't, we can't tell people what to do, but we are led by the Spirit. You know what time it is out here, you know? When the media say, you know, um, okay, everybody, you know, um, take this vaccine, you know, um, it's going to, to help you. And you're thinking, well, I got to take it for, you know, I, I, I feel fine, you know, because basically, you know, from what I'm sensing, you know, uh, they're going to try to push it on everybody. You know, I don't know why 
you know, especially if, if nobody's showing any symptoms. But anyway, that's a whole other video. I don't really want to go there. Because like I said, I'm, you know, it's all about timelines. And it's all about, you you know, how you want to receive, how you want to see your reality. Okay? If you want to see reality and, and harmony and love and and peace, you know, everything starts mental. Everything starts within. It's what you choose to believe how you want to see it out here. So, I'm not going to really go into all that. That's what they're saying, but I don't see that in the timeline I want to be in, okay? Let me just say that. The timeline I want to be in is pretty much, I'm taking from this timeline to this timeline, all right? And I, and this is a true phenomenon, all right? But you have to believe it pretty much by faith. But anyway, everything's not going to affect everybody. That's the point I'm trying to make. And, you know, um, when it comes to the so-called COVID-19, I choose to see it really as a positive, you know. It pretty much also, you know, just having faith and believing you are a child of Most High God. Like, you know, if anything, you should feel good because you have your health, you're covered, you know. The only time I come out here with something across my face, many of you know I have seasonal allergies. You know, I'm always messing with my nose or whatever. I've been doing this for a long, for quite some time. It's nothing new because many of you have been watching me for quite some time. You know, you've been rocking with your sister. And you know I'm always fumbling with my face, you know, having little itchy spells, whatever. But that's due to seasonal allergies. But I'm, I'm not fearing this uh, for the most part, family. Um, I trust you know, knowing whose I am, and I do trust and believe that I'm divinely covered. I, I'm I'm loved divinely covered. This is what I choose to believe, all right, as a child of the Most High God. So I, I'm, not, I'm not fearing this, because like I said, it's pretty much a smoke screen anyway, but there are people that are sickly, but many people are healing from it. The media don't talk about that, all right? There are people that are dying, but they're not dying from COVID-19. Actually, the the, the uh, death count is very low. Let me just say that. And think about it, family. If this right here was airborne, a lot of people would have been wiped out by now, okay? Because we all had to breathe. But I let, that sit, I let that sit with many of you, all right? How they're trying to feed a lot of foolishness to us. But not just that. They say on the news that a lot of our elderly that are in nursing homes are dying due to COVID-19. Really? Really? So you mean to tell me these elderly people that are confined within the nursing homes, all right? And it's surrounded by medical staff, nurses. You mean to tell me they're getting sick and dying from it? Really? And I know many of them are, you know, sickly. I, I know that, but you have people who are el elderly that lives in um, senior citizens' homes, all right? You know, they have colds, you know, a lot of times they have the flu, you know. Um, they have little viruses, you know, and they live in, you know, uh, they see a citizen's home, but they're not dying, you know, they're not tapping out. This calls for a moment of silence and to think. A lot of these people are not dying due to COVID-19. A lot of these people are dying due to negligence, all right, of the medical staff. But one thing, they don't know what they're dealing with. Yes, indeed, because they came by my reading, they're clueless. They don't really know what they're dealing with. That's for one thing. And not only that, even though you do get sick, you can heal from it. They don't tell you that. They, they want to force these vaccines on us due to an agenda. But you can heal from this. Heal thyself. Take your body back to zero point, all right? Plant your feet on earth, Gaia, all right? Sun gaze. Drink plenty of water. Flush the toxins out. Eat fruits and veggies, all right? Eat live food. You can not heal thyself, but they're not going to tell you that. All they want to do is give us chemicals and man-made vaccines, all right? That's really targeted to shut you off spiritually from source. That's really what it's all about, all right? It's really targeted to shut this down, all right? People like me and like others that are speaking up because our third eye is open, okay? We have that spiritual connection with source. You know, many of us have had a kundalini. We know what we're talking about, all right? But many people are not talking like this because they're not spiritually awakened. But that's what time it is, all right? It's time for the Most High God's children to wake up. And they're waking up slowly. They're talking, they're becoming conscious, but a lot of people's spiritual sight is not awakened. All right? And then you have people whose spiritual sight is awakened, but they haven't had a kundalini yet. All right? It's levels to this thing. Okay? And I don't know it all, but I'm telling you what I do know. But let's get back to this. You mean to tell me that these senior citizens and these nursing homes 
are dying due to COVID-19? I think not. I truly believe it's due to negligence of the nurses' staff. They're leaving them in the rooms, all right? And many of them, really many of them, really, you know, uh, just really foolish, all right? Then they're not really doing things decent and in order up in there. Family can't uh, visit their loved ones to check on them. You don't know what's going on with your loved one. If I say check on them, all right? Especially the ones that live by themselves, check on them. And it's a good thing to do this because we're all going to, going to get older, all right? I hear people all the time, oh, his old ass, her old ass, old this, old that. But it's a blessing to get older, okay? With age come wisdom. It's a blessing. And I mean that in a good way, you know? Um, why down somebody just because of their age? You know, pray that you make it to their age. And many young people are going out too. Pray that you make it to their age, all right? But it's due to negligence. Even in the hospital, it's due to negligence. All right? Um, a lot of them just using these bodies pretty much for organ harvesting because it's, it's money in it. You know, um, I can say a lot, but maybe you know this already. I'm just telling, I'm just pretty much giving you confirmation of what you already know. But they're going to stamp, they're going to put a stamp on it as COVID-19. They're dying from that when it's really due to negligence. All right? They're not following protocol, proper protocol proper protocol in these uh, medical facilities, whether it be hospitals or nursing homes. That's why these people are going out, and they're going to put a stamp on this COVID-19. Really? Who do they think they're fooling family? The spirit realm knows all things. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they want to shove these vaccines down on us to shut your spiritual connection down. All right? That's pretty much what that is and who knows what's in these vaccines all right but whatever's in it that's what they're trying to do but let me but let me let me let me tell you a little it's i, I want to say a little secret but i don't like to talk like that because i feel like when it comes to source you know nothing is new under the sun so i'm not going to speak like that but let me tell you this when you know who you are and you're working on yourself you're trying to raise your vibration you having a connection with source don't fear the vaccine you keep working on yourself. You keep planting your feet. All right? You keep having that connection with source. Don't worry about the vaccines because I want this bee to get in here. Don't worry about the vaccine, all right? Because source has a way of covering you in a way that man cannot see. All right? It's the unseen. All right? That's doing things behind the scene it's the unseen that many of us cannot see even i'm not seeing what's really really going on right now all right because I, I my eyes not closed and i'm not really focused as far as meditation but the point i'm trying to make is it's a lot of things going on behind the scenes the most high god he's dispatching his rod his staff you know um let me just say his children will be covered that's all I'm saying. So don't think that, oh, this vaccine, oh, they're going to shut me down. No. Anything the Most High God has started in you, has placed in you, they cannot shut it down. All right? Just know that he will make a way for an escape. Believe that. Okay? He will. He, she, Abba Father, Abba Mama, whatever you want to call source, the divine, all right? The divine that is within you will make a way if you believe it by faith, for you to be covered and to escape. Please know that. So I just want to encourage many of you. I'm going to end this video. Uh, my next video will be guidance too. For uh, anybody who's interested, you can watch, all right? I'm just sharing my gift of knowing and uh, being a service to my brothers and sisters um, as far as, you know, um, giving many of you uh, readings. Because normally I do charge. But, no, these readings are from the heart. I was told by the Spirit to do it, so I'm just obeying, all right? Obedience is better than sacrifice, so that's what I'm doing. Um, fam, this is time to be led by the Spirit. Uh, we all, everybody has it in them, all right? To have a connection with source. Everybody has it in them to be psychic, you know? It, it just pretty much relies on your intuition, but you have to build that spiritual muscle. We all have it in us, all right? I talk like this all the time, and people, you know, they would just drop and unsubscribe from me. It's like, oh, she's talking that crazy talk. You know, my videos are not for you, and I said it with love. They're not for you because you don't have no faith, and you're not putting the work in. 
You know, I didn't get here overnight. You know, I, I was putting a lot of work in. I was meditating on the word. You know, like a lot of people just meditate, but you don't know what they're meditating to. I mean, what are you, I mean, like, are you are you just sitting there in silence? You know, are you setting your attentions? What are you meditating to? See, it's more to your sister. You know, I, I, I was I was seeking. Okay, I was hungry for wisdom. I was seeking, and you have to really be a seeker, family. But you have to do that for yourself. You have to seek for yourself. Okay, but we all have it in us to do it. All right, it's willpower. If you want it bad enough, you will do it. And you'll see that light inside of you and so much more. And so much more, family. You better see through this illusion, okay? You better see within you that which was hidden as well as out here. And I can't even speak on a lot of things, okay? Because you ain't going to believe me anyway. But many of you have an idea of what I'm talking about because I, I get emails all the time and many of you always writing me, especially when you go back and check out my old videos. But anyway, I'm through talking. I love you in Christ. Be on, be on the lookout for guidance too. And please know, like I said, I was hoping for 13, but I ended up getting nine of you. It's all good, family. It's all good. Um. Also, let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick, all right? Because for some reason, um, it came up in my spirit. When it comes to the mark of the beast, let me just say that. Many, that's why I said, let's be led by the spirit. Many people are looking at this so-called vaccine as the mark of the beast, okay? Hold on, let me step out real quick while I talk. I'm about to faint in this car. Hold on, fam. I'm going to end this video. It's okay to disagree with what I'm saying. I say pray about everything that I speak of, okay? I'm just being led by the Spirit because I rely on the Spirit, all right? Not man, but on the Spirit. Not even on my own intellect. Especially when it comes to something as serious as this. People have their own opinions and views about the so-called mark of the beast, but let me just say this real quick. It's not the vaccine family, all right? I'm like you, you know, I, I want to know what's going on because things are moving real, real quick. 2020 all right things are really really moving really quick make you wonder which timeline we're really in but when it comes to the mark of the beast it's not the vaccines okay that's why i'm telling many of you my brothers and sisters i'm sorry i thought i saw something that's why i'm trying to tell many of you to fear not you know um with this vaccine it's truly something in it but it's really designed to really um, whatever's in it, it's really designed to really shut off the connection of the Most High God children from from source, shall I say, um, meaning keep people from waking up, okay, at the end of the day. That's why they try to uh, give our children um, shots all the time, all these freaking shots. Why do you got to have so many damn shots? I mean, really, family. And the thing about it, listen, the thing about it, they're doing all of this because I've had the shots, you've had the shots, but... I threw the eye still awakened, didn't it? I had the shots. You had the shots. I had vaccine. I used to work in the hospital, you know, and, and they are constantly uh, shooting us with something, whether it be, what, what's it, what is it called, uh, a TB? I used to hate getting that. But in the hospital, a lot of things are considered mandatory getting, but it did not stop me from waking up. When I left, working, when I left from working at the hospital, I would say about maybe a year later, two years later, my third eye had awakened. And then from there, my I had a kundalini. So it didn't stop anything. That's the point I'm trying to make. But when it comes to these vaccines, all right, it's really designed to shut off the connection, all right? But when you know whose you are, you have nothing to worry about, family. That's the point I'm trying to make. Work on having your own relationship with the Most High God because you know whose you are and believe you are covered. And as far as the mark of the beast, that's something that, that whatever timeline... Whatever timeline it's going to be in, and I'm not worrying about it because I'm in the now. I'm living in the now. When it comes to that, that's something that they're going to try to, uh, that's, not some, that's not something that they can force. That's something that you have to accept on, you have to accept on your own, all right? So that's not really something that they can force on you. Even the word tells you that, all right? So keep that in mind. The word tells you that that's a choice. Remember that. A lot of people just, to me, they're not really, like, you don't see them, like, running to and to and fro out here. But it's people's actions, the way they think. It's like they're not thinking clearly. That's why I say one must be led by the spirit. The mark of the beast, that's a matter of choice. Whatever timeline, 
one choose to be in as far as being that timeline that's what i'm going to say and it has to do really with you know uh the way, the way you think and your vibration um it has to do with a lot of things but if you are in that timeline that's a matter of choice that's the point i'm trying to make but it's not something that's forced on you okay all about, all about making sense to somebody all right the mark of the beast is something that's not forced on you that's a matter of choice okay the vaccines this is something that they're going to try to force on people that's the difference so i'm through talking i love you in christ i hope all is well with many of you i'm sure it is and be on the lookout for guidance too okay um for those select few that were chosen the nine of you and if any of you want to watch it anyway you're welcome to watch it all right show yourself some love um and watch it and um if you find it fascinating and you're like, wow, you know, um, this is interesting, make sure you click on that bell to be notified when I'm doing, when I'm going to do it again. I probably do end up doing it again maybe sometime next month. But anyway, I'm, I'm out of here. All right, it's hot. I'm out of here. I love the sun because I can handle the sun. All right, I'm melting it. I can handle the sun. I love it. It's good for me. But um, still, I'm ready to go back in. I've done enough talking. Peace and love to you, family, and bye for now. Bye for now.